Hey, look who we got here. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> hey, Nick. How's it? Good to see you. Good. How are you? Hey, they can't keep the Kersney boys out of Durban. Ah, uh, I know. We always have to come back sometime. I see you're doing big things there uh, at Post House. Yeah, we're moving along. Things are... Yeah, things are coming on well. Hey, yeah. our, our customers in Hillcrest are just loving your wines. I, I, I can't... It, it's just such an amazing story. It's, it's fantastic. It is, it is fantastic. I don't know, maybe it's the Kersney or, you know, maybe they know I'm from, from this neck of the woods. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it's, it's, it's been great to, to do business here. It's, it's, it's been... It's and been you, got a, you got a good guy backing you up, yeah? Yeah, uh, bar one Nick. Uh, free, yeah. <laughs> Don't believe what he's saying. It's all, all a lie. <laughs> Come and tell us about your wines. All right, sure. So for those that don't know Post House, have a look at this. How awesome is that? So Nick, tell us a bit about the wines. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm predominantly red, um, as you can see, although I do have a two whites i've got a, a barrel fermented shannon hopefully you'll taste them later um so the the red wines we are we are semi-organic in, in terms that that the actual wine making process is it's all natural it's a natural fermentation um we don't use uh filtering or fining um <clears throat> So it's quite a, it's it's quite a, it's definitely a natural, a natural red wine. Um, I would also describe the the wines as uh, they they're quite full bodied. They are when they picked, it's reasonably ripe, ripe fruit. So um, it's got a, a, a great richness to the you know in the wines are, are, are quite rich in, in their in their style. So and the and the and the. And the labels, those are, that's quite, quite different. Each one seems to be after a post box with a stamp. What's all of that about? Yeah, so <clears throat> the house that I live in used to be an old post office. Um, so it used to be the old Helderberg post office uh, in Somerset West. And uh, so when, when we moved on, it was a natural progression to actually call, call the wines uh, with a, you know, after the post office, but we couldn't call it post office. Um, so post house sounds sounded better. And from that followed followed the uh, naming of, of all the wines after stamps. So okay. each stamp each wine is actually stamp related, either colour of a stamp or a famous stamp. Are you a stamp collector? No? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that's great. <laughs> Missing Virgin, Penny Black. Tell us about the Penny Black. All right. So the Penny Black. Um, There's the stamp there. <clears throat> Penny Black stamp. Yeah. The Penny Black was the first, the first stamp to be ever printed. It was a British stamp. It was one penny, and it was black. Um, and so that is a blend. It's a. It's uh, got five varieties in it. It's quite an unusual blend. Um, it's predominantly Shiraz and Merlot, Cabernet, Petit Verdot, and the interesting part of it has got a little bit of Chenin Blanc, which people find quite unusual. And my favourite, if I'm not drinking uh, Pinotage, I'm drinking Merlot, and that is quite interesting to me, the Black Male. The Black Male, yeah. <laughs> so the, the story behind this is um, my son was watching Cartoon Network, and uh, when I was looking for a for a name to, to come up for the Mallow, um, he was watching Cartoon Network, and Cartoon Network often has these uh, things about aliens and UFOs and that sort of thing. And <clears throat> in the Nevada desert, there is actually a post box which um, has become a gathering point for UFO hunters. UFO, uh, yeah, UFO hunters. And um, so that's actually how it came up came about that it was on Cartoon Network that this black post box was was in the Nevada desert so I researched it and it actually was and it does exist it does actually exist no way yeah so um, and it, it just it just worked as a as a name um, it's quite a masculine mellow um, so it just it just seemed to just seemed to go 
And then uh, I find this quite interesting, the golden monkey. The golden monkey. Hmm. Yeah, the golden monkey, uh, <clears throat> so that's a Grenache, Mavirdra, um Shiraz Grenache Mavirdra blend. Light it's amazing how they're popular those blends are becoming now. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's also, it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, lighter, so it's a wine that you can chill a little bit. Yeah. Um, fantastic to, to have on a summer, summer day, and I think for Durban, it's great. It's a great wine for, for, this, for this climate, yeah. And then the last one I just want to go through is the Bluish Black. That's quite interesting. Yep, Bluish Black. So that was a, a named after, so it came from the Penny Black. Penny yeah. Black, um, although it was the first stamp that was ever printed, there were actually about 10 million of them printed. So there were some that came out slightly Bluish Black. Oh, okay. And that's how, so basically when you're cataloging uh, a Penny Black and it was slightly blue, it would be in the catalog Penny Black, Bluish Black. So that's how that got its name. Yeah. And then, yeah, look, thanks for uh, allowing us to stock your wine. Yeah, I, well, I actually you. cannot believe the popularity of this whole range in our store. Oh, well, it's been fantastic to come here and, and show the wines to you. Um, yeah, and, and, and I hope we, we sell more, and thanks very much. Tell me, what do you think about our shop and our selection, uh, our, our, our wine? Well, it has to be the wine shop of, of, of Natal. I mean, I, you know, it's a, it just blows my mind to see how many wines there are. When you see how many wines there are, you actually don't know how you sell one bottle of wine. But anyway, it's great that we do. <laughs> Thank you. And it's amazing. Every yeah. single <laughs> bottle of wine here is, is almost, it, it is hand-picked. Mm. Everything here sells. There's no, you know, guys have, a lot of guys have wine that is just on their shelf and yeah. nobody buys the wine. Yeah. Our wine, everybody buys these right. wines. It's right. just amazing to see the, the how Hillcrest has become a wine destination. Must be. Our Must whole be, area, yeah. just yeah. it's great to see the yeah. wine lovers yeah. just crawling out the woodwork. It's yeah. fantastic. And you know the thing about the thing about the wines is that you, you know you can have good wines, and there can be a lot of good wines, but you actually also got to have good wines, but with with a little bit of character. Yes. There has to be something about the wine um, besides it being good. It, 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 it needs to actually have a little bit of soul to, the, to it as well. And I love just wa walking around and it's almost for me it's like a library because you're looking at the wines and, and every bottle that you look at mm. it's interesting to just read the story on the back. Yeah, yeah well that's, that, that's it. I, mean, honestly, I, I see a lot of the guys going to great lengths to get, <clears throat> uh, get the, the story of their wine across on the back of the label. Yeah, so obviously with, with us it's, it's very important uh, because the, the name expresses so much of the wine um, uh, so that's why we obviously put it sometimes the uh, the writing is a is 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 quite small but I think with the apps of pho um, phones you can actually magnify it a little bit and help out the the over 40 year old <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for taking the time to come all the way to see us thanks it was awesome much, yeah. to thank actually thank you. see you in our shop great, and great honor thank you to be here. yeah, yeah thank you. great wow I'm, I'm on it <laughs> Hope to see you guys in store soon. Hit us up in the comments below and let us know what you think if you've ever tried these range of wines. If you haven't, I can personally guarantee that you will not be disappointed. Hope to see everybody in store soon. Cheers guys. <laughs>